Hey everyone, this is Roger from Us in Full Color. We're in June, so that means we got more Prime games to review, so let's get into it. Before I get started, I do want to talk about that Prime members now get a couple games free each month through Luna, which is their cloud gaming service, uh, similar to Stadia and GeForce Now situation where you can not install games and just play through the browser. You get five games that go away at the end of the month, so that's why I didn't review them, and I wanted to see how it went, because I noticed it last month, and they do rotate every month. But you do get some decent games. The game I'll call out this month was Far Cry, Far Cry 4, um, and that would be the selection from the games that was in the list. Maybe I'll just do that um, and not really review them, because due to the time of this you might not be able to play too much far if you watch the video at the end of the month because obviously you don't download these so you can't redeem them real quickly but anyways let's get into the downloadable games first up we got wrc8 um rally racing championship if this sounds familiar back in december i had seven so this is the next one from that from the year 2020 uh mad Crit score is 77 Looking at $30 and 16 hours of gameplay. Uh, 8 was a very big improvement. I felt a lot of things were updated for the better. I liked the feel of the car a lot better than in 7. I felt like the physics was way more in tuned and things happened for more reasons. Uh, for example, in the snow track, I knew when I was going to spin out and kind of made a mistake and continued spinning and wasn't shocked by that. I also like the improvements to career. It was nicely guided. Um, they had a quick guide at the bottom right. Not too intrusive. Uh, to figure out the complex menus. And I was enjoying career. Um, overall, it was just nice to play that. Um, the graphics felt like a little improvement. It was hard to tell. Too much I watched. I didn't like how you start on snow track again. For some reason, 7 and 8 like to start you in the snow. I guess to show stuff. But there was like challenges mixed into the story that I really enjoyed. And overall, this will get the same download as 7 did. Uh, the Pro here, it's a very good rally series. Uh, I still like Dirt Rally better, but this isn't bad. Uh, the Con here, it is sim racing. And if you don't like these games, you're just going to have a lot of difficulty staying on the track. And it may turn you away from the game. Next up is the extreme curse of a game escape from monkey island uh this is the last monkey island game so maybe no more um they are working on a new one maybe that's why they were doing them once a month pretty much but this came out in 2000 got an 86 on metacritic 13 dollars you're looking at normally for 11 hours of gameplay for this puzzle game why did i not say point and click for some reason they changed the whole aspect of the game uh, you have tank controls to walk around, and the controls were weird. You had to use page up, page down to cycle through. Um, you had to select with that. Walking just felt weird with the tank. Um, they also went from the cartoony thing that I did praise on the last one to this digital PlayStation era cgi thing that i didn't like personally i kind of wish they would have stuck to the cartoons because that felt way better um overall it did feel more interactive because i felt like i was walking around with the character instead of clicking but oddly enough it was just weird to me i didn't like that direction um and i was when i was playing this i didn't make it to the weird monkey combat game uh you either love it or hate it from reading online and this was a Mortal Kombat style fighting, which looked like you just had to guess moves. It seemed like a lot of wasted time to me. Um, and overall, I felt this kind of left the series a little bit. The writing and all was the same what you expect in Monkey Island, and that's the normal praise. Uh, the comedy was there. Everything was there. Just this direction made this even worse for me. Um, I'll continue my streak and say not a download. I would thought taking away the point and click would make me like it, but oddly enough, I felt that was this game's genre. So, the pro here is you could complete the whole series now if you've been keeping up with the Prime Gaming. Um, 
and you have a Monkey Island game. It is one of the top rated PC games. I just wasn't my nostalgia like always. The con here was, oddly enough, it wasn't point and click. I was expecting that and I kind of think it fit better. Next up, we have Calico, which came out in 2020. Got a Medicaid score of 57, so kind of low rated for this $12 game for three hours of gameplay that I will mention is also on iOS. Um, and this is an interesting sim game where you run a cat, cat cafe and you're on a land with people that are big into magic. This feeling immediately gave me an Animal Crossing feel. There was a little town. You had to interact. You're just moving in to help your family run this cat cafe. And then the first person you talked to had the kind of Animal Crossing sound. I was shocked it was so similar. Overall, I like the graphics. I like the style. It made it stand out and was very neat and saw potential in the game. Um, but the, then the game started and it was very basic. Uh... You can see I always have the controls up on the screen. You can turn them off, but it was helpful to figure that out. And I think that's where the mobile thing kind of fit in. Um, and I was just doing little chores and it got boring pretty, pretty fast. I got excited for the cooking because you actually shrink down in size and had to throw the materials in a bowl. It's kind of cool. Then it realized it wasn't that hard. You just had to walk over, read the label and throw it in there. So it's kind of more... I wish I could have just made the thing item. What I could see was this was geared towards kids. And I felt like a kid would really like this game. As an adult, I did not care for this much. And I do think this was just not geared towards me. Like I said, it felt like a kid's game. And that, I think, was really the audience. It wasn't the nice kid's game that adults would like as well. So I would say not download. And with all my hints for the pro here, I would say... If you're a kid or wanting a game for your kid just to play around with, maybe they like animals, um, this would be a cool game to play. The Con here, it's a basic sim game that's very similar to Animal Crossing, which goes into the thing of, I would suggest this game Animal Crossing if this looked interesting to you and try that. Next up, we have Astrologaster. I hope I said that right. That game came out in 2019 for $10. And this guy, Mad Critic, scores 74 for six hours of gameplay. Again, another mobile game. Um, and here you play as a doctor that uses constellations to heal people. Uh, so you'll get this scenario. You have to pick which one best matches the case they have and select that. Voice acting was wonderful. I enjoyed the characters' voices. Uh, they do a throwback to the time era here where they have like a singing story part. Um, it was good at first. It was cool. Annoying fast for me. I started just skipping them uh, to move on. And like I said, you're kind of guessing to Constellations what the person's problem is by their story. So there's no real gameplay here. It's more like a dialogue mystery. It's like, here's the problem they're facing what should i pick and it continues and you get a rating if you did good or bad um the art style was kind of cool i like the pop-up book style but overall i would say not a download uh the pro here it's heavily based on dialogue so if you like just speaking and voice acting this is a pretty good game to check out con here is that there is no game and maybe it's a better mobile fit um, again, with Calico, I feel like these two games were better mobile-wise. Next up and last game on the list for today is Across the Grooves, which came out in 2020. Uh, no Metacritic score this time, so I always like reviewing these ones because it's I don't have no other things to base off of or anything like that. $13 if you bought it on Steam for three hours of a game for this visual novel. Visual novels is a weird genre for me um i feel like i either really really hate the game or really like it uh the art style was cool i like the animations that were drawn here i really like the art style and across the grooves is a reference to the record in the story and the sounds of the game and the music were done really well i enjoyed that the most part of this um the overall story here is um, you play as this girl who gets a record from her ex-boyfriend and she listens to it 
and it relives parts of her past and then when she comes back she realizes that it changed her past so the whole story is trying to find that ex-boyfriend of hers to figure out what's going on why did she get this record and along the way you find other people that listen to this record so the story at first was kind of dull to me but then once i got figured out what the record did and the story picked up i was hooked i followed it you met different people traveled to different locations i had fun playing this game um so overall i would say a download it shocked me it picked up uh the pro here it's a visual novel that has really good sounds uh even though there's not really much animation going on um you have like sliding frame images but the sounds make up for it and it really does put you into the game con here visual novel kind of the criticism of the last game it's not really much of a game you do get some choices but it is a visual novel so if you don't like the games you won't like this so it's hard for me to pick a game this month um wasn't the best month to me in my opinion but i'll just go with wrc8 i like my sim games i thought that's a really good value for a game you'll get and you'll have a long time playing it Cross the Grooves was close, but it is shorter. Um, and I think it's only playable once for me. I didn't see much replayability. So I would have to go with the Rally Racing. Uh, hopefully next month, we don't get another Monkey Island. We're finally past that. Um, they might shock me and do something weird. But we'll see. And I'll see you next month. Peace.